Each year, certain players around the league are often given unnecessary amounts of recognition that carries throughout the offseason and into the subsequent MLB season. This year is no different as I believe there are five guys that are very clearly overrated heading into the 2024 season, so let's get into it. Starting it off with a controversial take, polarizing shortstop Ellie De La Cruz of the Cincinnati Reds is up for my most overrated list. It's obvious that Ellie is insanely talented with tools that most can only dream of, including his absurd raw power, elite speed, and a cannon of an arm. However, the game of baseball is more than just about pure surface level skills. They also have to be translatable in various different assets of the game. De La Cruz played 98 games in 2023 and was able to post 13 homers and 35 stolen bases, which is solid, but that was about the only bright side. What people fail to mention is that he hit for an alarming 235 average and a poor 300 on base percentage while maintaining an awful 33.7% strikeout rate. Not to mention that these poor numbers also came in one of the most hitter friendly parks in all of baseball. Now, I'm not saying that De La Cruz is a bad ball player or anything, and he was just a rookie last year, but I think his flashy plays and eye popping skills have made him overrated up to this point. Up next is slugging outfielder Kyle Schwarber of the Phillies, who I think is one of the more obvious overrated picks around the league. Now, Schwarber's calling card is obviously his immense power, which is evident by the ridiculous career-high 47 homers he hit last year over basically a full season. But besides that skill, he doesn't offer a whole lot elsewhere. He consistently hits for a poor average, which sat at an embarrassing 197 last year and is typically in the 200 to 220 range. He strikes out more than almost anyone in the entire league, and he offers nothing in terms of speed. While many baseball fans love guys that hit for power, myself personally is not as high on players with similar profiles to Kyle Schwarber. If it's not a homer, the outcome is almost always going to be negative for him. Add in the fact that he had a league-worst negative 19 outs above average in 2023 on the defensive end, and you're relying completely on the home runs for him to have any value on your team. While he continues to have significant name recognition, I just can't get behind the hype. Moving on to the first pitcher on this list, I have Blake Snell, who is still currently a free agent. Now, you might be thinking that I'm crazy calling the most recent Cy Young winner overrated, but the reason why I think he is honestly stems from the award. Everyone seems to have regained their confidence towards Snell after his incredible yet interesting season that saw him put up a 2.25 ERA after a disastrous month of April to start the year. Despite him remaining unhittable for the majority of the season, Snell literally led the majors in walks while also leading the league in lowest ERA. I don't know about you, but for me personally, these two things don't exactly correlate with one another. Snell has one of the highest strand rates in the league, often loading up the bases and somehow managing to get out of the trouble. My problem with Snell is that I think he had a fair share of luck on his side. If he continues to walk hitters at the same rate, damage will be done sooner rather than later in 2024. I think that he's immensely talented with great stuff, but he's very clearly not one of the game's best arms that so many make him out to be. Heading back to hitters now, I have batting champ Luis Arias of the Miami Marlins who is coming off of his best season of his career in which he hit a whopping 354. Now similar to Snell, you might again be wondering why I'm calling the most recent batting champ overrated, but it's due to his most recent accolade that has now inflated the perception of him across the league. Arias is a great hitter, don't get me wrong, but he also lacks the extra base hit potential that many other superstars in the MLB have to go along with a strong average. His counting stats clearly reflect that as he scored just 71 runs batting leadoff with 10 homers. In addition, Arias is also a very poor defender as he had a negative 10 outs above average with negative 8 runs prevented in 2023. So while he's the best in the business at what he excels in, which is hitting for average, Keep in mind that he's well below average in many other important areas of the game. A great player nonetheless, but one that is slightly overrated entering the 2024 season. And finally, the last player on this list that I think is overrated heading into the 2024 season is recent World Series champ Adelise Garcia of the Texas Rangers. Garcia is entering just his fourth major league season this year despite turning 31 years old. I can't deny that he put up a monster season in 2023 with 39 homers and 107 RBIs to headline the year, but likewise with many other players on this list, Garcia has many holes in his game. Last year, he hit 245, which is respectable, but he also paired that with 175 strikeouts that suggests he has very little ability to improve in that department. His counting stats are awesome, but he also has unbelievable protection in the lineup with names such as Corey Seager and Marcus Semien around him. 
His most recent playoff run also put his name in the headlines a countless amount of times that has overhyped his game. Oftentimes, Garcia is a really streaky hitter that when he gets hot, it's real hot, but when he's cold, it's really cold. The power here is undeniable, of course, but I don't think he's as good as some rate him out to be. And with that being said, that wraps up my list for most overrated players heading into the 2024 season. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Yet again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.